LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison, you're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Well, you know, guys, I know everybody been looking at the back and forth between Tariq Nasheed and Dr. Umar Johnson. Um, you know, I know they've been looking at this back and forth, and it, it's kind of, you know, to me, it, it, it it's stupid. It's stupid. Let me just kind of talk, you know, I don't, I know quite a bit about Tariq. Well, I know enough, you know, I've watched a few of his videos. I, I don't know a whole lot about, you know, Dr. Umar Johnson. I've seen some of his lectures, you know, and, and some of them are actually pretty educational. You know, Tariq, you know, I've heard him speak. I've seen him on Fox News before, you know, really going at those folks. You know, they both have a lot of talent and skill set, but, you know, here's my opinion on both of these guys. I think these guys are opportunists, and I just think that a lot of people are asleep. I think they're opportunists. And I think right now, you know, it's, it seems like, to me, it seems like Dr. Umar was, you know, a bit jealous of Tariq Nasheed. You know, that's that's what it sounds like. It just seems like, you know, because from the way he's talking, you know, it's almost like he hating on Tariq. But, you know, one can say that about Tariq Nasheed. Because I can't stand Tommy Sotomayor. I can't stand him. I can't stand his videos. I just, you know, and the most satisfying thing... <laughs> was when I saw Tariq Nasheed, you know, catch him at a um, DJ Blast set and pretty much, man, just embarrassed him, you know, it was funny. It was funny. What's going on with all this killing? What's up with all this killing? You know, it was funny. But then, you know, I started thinking about well, Tariq Nasheed. You know, Tariq Nasheed, he making money off Tommy Sotomayor. And y'all probably saying, well, what, 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 what you mean he making money? Yeah, you know, he making money. Making money off Tommy Sotomayor. And, you know, I, I think... I, I don't like it when, you know, he's talking about, you know, the man's complexion, you know, calling him crispy. And he got a video game called Crispy's Biscuits. Like, you know, it is, it's funny at first, but then when I got thinking about it, I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Tariq. You know, we, we I mean, we're talking about, you know, dark-skinned people. Wait a minute. And see, it, that, that kind of don't sit too well. And, and a lot of people, you know what? And I'm sick of people letting Tommy Sotomayor off the hook. I'm sick of people not really addressing why, you know, Tariq is going in on him so bad. You know, the worst thing, the most distasteful thing that Tommy ever did was the girl who she got her foot caught in the train track and she couldn't get her shoe out of the track and the train ran over. You know, he was too busy talking about the girl weave and I'm sitting here like, this girl just died. And the only thing, the only thing that you got good to come up with is that the girl had on a bunch of weave and, you know, she was doing this and that. But the girl was actually, you know, a pretty good girl. You know, she was going back to school. She was trying to do a lot of different things, you know. Didn't have a lot of kids out of wedlock. Didn't have no kids out of wedlock. Just young girl, you know, that just got in the wrong place at the wrong time. But, you know, he just pretty much just kind of threw this girl under the bus. He threw this dead girl under the bus, man. And that's what really did it for me with Tommy Sotomayor. So when Tariq bodied him at uh, DJ Vlad's uh, studio set, it was funny. But, you know, the part about the crispy part, uh, that's not funny. You know, that's not funny at all. And then, you know, to create a video game. So, you know, what is that implying? See, here's my take on it, man. Both of these guys, they're very good at one thing. They, they have the gift of, of speaking. They, they, they have the gift of speaking. They, they're good orators. They're very good. And they can get the crowd to go to almost any level with them. I think Tariq is a little bit better at the uh, at the warfare than uh, Dr. Umar Johnson. I just don't think Dr. Umar Johnson built for the warfare. He, he just, I don't think he built for that. I think he's a good speaker. I think he can talk you into giving your last dollar <laughs> if it was in your pocket. And I think you people would give it to him because he's that gifted of a speaker. I think Tariq is a gifted speaker, but I just think he goes about it in different ways. But, you know... The thing of it is, is that these guys, they're very known in the black community. They're very known. And this is what it is, you know. Like these guys, I'm sure they got each other phone number. You know, I'm sure they do. They know each other phone number. You know, why broadcast it? You know, why not just call? Why not pick up the phone and actually call the person and figure out what the deal is instead of broadcasting it? Instead of broadcasting it live so, you know, the whole world can see, you know, them acting like a bunch of idiots. And that's what it is. That's what it is, man. This thing is out of hand. It's getting out of hand, and it's getting to the point where, you know, they both communicate in physical violence to each other, you know. Like, come see me, come see me. You know, man, <laughs> them guys, both of them two guys, they too old to be trying to fight, man. They too old to be trying to fight, man. And Dr. Humon Johnson, he don't even look like he in no condition to try to fight anybody. You know, Tyreek, he look a little bit more athletic, but, 
you know, they they too old for this stuff, man. And you would think the two grown men, they can actually, you know, maybe just talk behind the scenes that you got their phone number. You know, you got the phone number. But nah, this is what we're getting. And I'm not really amused by it, man. I'm actually, it, it's kind of sad. It really is kind of sad that these guys, they got so much power, man. And when I say power, they got so much power to either, you know, change a bunch of things or make a lot of things just terrible. They have that power within them, but they choose to use it to bicker and hate on each other. Now, I can't even say it was more, it was more so Dr. Yuman Johnson, man. It's just, you know, what is it? What is it? What is it that Tariq possesses that could just make this man go in like that? You know, it, it's crazy. But that's how it happens in the black community. That's how it happens. You know, you try to help somebody, and then it's like they end up stabbing you in the back. And, it, and over and over and over. But why? See, this whole thing, it's going to get very, it's going to get ugly. And I'm back, I guarantee you, if this keeps on, it's going to go from, you know, internet, you know, internet wars, YouTube wars, to, you know what, they're going to see each other in person one day, or just bump across each other, and then something going to pop off. See, these kind of things like this, man, where they keep going on and on and back and forth, it's dangerous. It's really dangerous. But it's not just dangerous to these two, you know, physically. It's not dangerous to them, but it's dangerous to the whole black community. It's dangerous. Why not call each other? And resolve this out. And then if there can there can be no resolution, then disagree as men and move on. And just, you know, leave each other alone. See that that that's the simple solution. But for some people, they don't understand simplicity. They only understand drama. And that's what this is, a bunch of drama. You know, that's what it is. It's it's a bunch of drama, man. And you know, they they need to squash it, but you know, they're not gonna listen to you know, and then you know, as people they keep, you know, giving them messages that the other one. And some of these people, they keep giving them these messages and showing them videos. These people, you know, they're as guilty as the two going at it. And, you know, what this is, you got a lot of men raised by single women, you know, that love drama. Never understood why so many men want to see drama, want to see a back and forth beef. They want to see that go on and on and on because it's entertaining. But guess who? You know, while all these idiots and these buffoons are out there getting entertained, guess who was hurting? It's hurting our people. That's just how it is. It's hurting our people. As a race, it's hurting our people. And you think, man, they just, these are guys that make YouTube. Man, look, man, these guys are viewed by millions of people, okay? These guys are viewed by millions and millions of people. And these two are the type of individuals that can create change. But, you know, I always say don't, don't put your faith in... Don't put your faith in somebody that, that deems himself as a leader or a speaker for everybody. Don't put your faith in that. Put your faith in yourself and your own, you know, what you can do for yourself. Put your faith in you. But, I mean, it's just, it's sad. And it's sickening, man. It's really sickening to see these guys go at each other like this. You know, and it's sad, you know. And this ain't giving Tommy a pass or, you know, people like David Carroll. It's not giving them idiots a pass either. Because they sickening too. They sickening too. And all this stuff, man, you know, can be resolved. All of it. Now, you know, Tommy and David, no. <laughs> That, that can't be resolved. They actually, they're sick people. But Tariq and Dr. Umar, they can actually take this, they can resolve it with a simple phone call behind the scenes. And that, that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.